Hello, welcome you in the session. Today we are here to discuss about uh, one grammar part. Okay. And that is on the topic of the grammar is phrases phrases versus clause the two parts of the sentence okay so before we know all the things let us part partly uh, know the meaning of phrases phrases will be there when we uh, these are the group of words group of words next that will be there will be no no subject subject no verb and uh, you know without subject and verb a sentence cannot be proceed and cannot be made so phrases are the group of words with no subject and no verb for example you see here value of words here you see these are the words group of words but there is no subject and no verb so that is called phrases especially we know phrases are phrases and idioms you can uh, we already have heard and that is called that is that's the phrases here phrases means uh, on account of on account of then you can say phrases are more are there uh, or uh, instead of instead of all these words are called group of words and uh, we are using the phrases taking subjects and verbs in the sentence otherwise phrases are incomplete without uh without uh subject and verb okay so now we will just highlight what is clause then if this is so clause is a words some words which have uh having having a subject and also having verb that means it makes a complete sentence complete sentence is sentence you can see in times of clause you see uh, for example you are the best so here you can see you here you can find everything subject is also there verb is also there every uh, 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 all about the words uh, what are the speech is parts what are the things are there everything is there so that is the complete sentence clause in clause you can get complete sentence that's one that's why it is it is clause okay so now we have to do something more about uh, something to know more about clause that that clause is two types okay one is you can see a dependent dependent clause okay and one another one is a uh, clause where subject sentence you can see sentence you can see independent clause means dependent clause you can see there is no uh, that means you can't get any 
source of a meaning in such sentences and independent you can get some meaning of that so you see unless you study hard and that is called dependent there is no that means the it it looks the sentence is dependent clause is up to this much and it looks that sentence is incomplete sentence is uh, sentence is uh, telling something to complete it so you have to uh, use the depend independent clause here so unless you study hard you won't pass the exam okay so now you see that is called dependent that means after come taking the uh, independent clause uh, sentence the dependent clause uh, gets the completion the correction full meaning so that's the part of clause so uh, uh, in in the in the in short we will have a recap of all these things so first of all phrases and idioms phrases without subject and without verb there is no meaning group of words only uh, phrases comes in just group of words and clause there is a meaning with subject and verb okay for example uh, you are the best i go to the cinema hall like that clauses are there so again we say we see clauses are two types which is are uh, dependent on meaning and uh, independent you see clauses while uh, unless you study hard up to this much if you write in a sentence then it 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 looks that uh, it's not that much uh, complete uh, something is missing is there so you have to use such sentences you have to for completing you have to use independent clause like unless you study hard you won't pass the exam okay so that's the importance of learning uh, that's the importance of clause in a sentence and uh, uh, we have to use phrases in a in a sentence but there should be uh, there should be uh, there should be the help of clause that means subject and verb okay so that's all for today thank you and Have a nice time.